test week. Uh, it is test week. But okay, cool guys, just to explain some housekeeping. The Sunday papers are next door with Vicky. That stuff is um, embargoed for Sunday. And then how it's going to work here is um, Kanan, Marnie and John. Um, Kanan and John offer exclusive use today. So you can use those today. Marnie's quotes exclusively tomorrow. So nothing of Marnie out today. Okay, cool guys. Um, what we will do is just the usual, we are going to start off with English and then for the last about 10, 10 15 minutes, depending on how, how many questions there are, we'll go to Afrikaans. Okay, lekker. Okay, questions? John, how, how does Saturday's debut compare to when you made your Irish debut, what, 2019, four years ago? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, It'll always be different, you know, it's your home country, it's, you know. It, I mean, obviously it was, a, it was a great honor to play for Ireland as well, but I didn't grow up as a young boy watching, you know, Paul O'Connell play rugby thinking, geez, I want to play in his jersey, you know. I was watching Bucky's Boeta run around smashing guys <laughs> and thinking, one day, one day, you know. So it's, it's very much a, you know, you talk about childhood dreams coming true and that kind of stuff and... You know, here I am, sitting here, I never thought I'd get the opportunity. So, things change, you know. Sean, does the journey, uh, I would suppose, make it worth, um, worth, the, worth the while waiting so long? The journey you had from here going over and then coming back, it's, it's sort of a, a circle. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, it was a bit of a round trip. Um, you know, Rassi was the one who took me over in the first place to Munster. And um, you know, seven years later, you know, Rassi gave me another phone call and I'm back again. So, um, no, it looks, listen, it, it was a massive journey, but it's, you know, I don't regret any part of it. Um, I've, you know, built a, built a family and a home and got a good community out, out, in, out in Ireland. Um, but, you know, you can't pass up an opportunity like this. Um, it's a, it's a massive honor. Sorry, maybe follow up on what they're asking. Uh, you say it's been a, uh, almost like a way around. Yeah. You know what I mean? And coming back. I don't know if anyone is asking this, but why, why come back? Maybe expand on that. You say your childhood dream was always uh, you know, watching the pop buckies and, and the likes. But why maybe expand on that? Why the comeback? <laughs> why not? Why not the comeback? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not every day you get this chance. There's a very small, select few group of men who've ever played for South Africa, and you know to be part of such a elite group of these of rugby players, to have peers, you know, like the guy sitting next to me, world-class rugby players. I mean, we proved in 29, the world 2019, proved the best team, best team in the world, and hopefully we can replicate that again this year. We can prove we are again, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity, uh, pass up the opportunity to be part of something that big. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you feel that then you have something to prove? Um, not more than anyone else. Do you know, I think you know when you when you get called up to the Springboks, there's there's an onus on you. There's a certain responsibility on you to do your country proud and to represent. And I think, especially in South Africa, more than most other countries, I think, the Springboks give hope to a lot of people. Um, and being part of that hope is a, you know, it's an incredible honor. And it's a massive responsibility as well. You know, you, you, you have to perform because it's not just your hopes and dreams that are resting on, on Saturday's results, you know, it's, it's the, your countries. John, um, <coughs> were, you, were you aware of Changing, um, or was it something that Rossi informed you about when he phoned you? Or, yeah. No, do you know what? I I was aware of it because a lot of people had said to me, a lot of my mates had said, "Listen, why don't you declare?" And my stance was always, "I'm not gonna, you know, throw my name into the hat." Um, I wasn't gonna. I was never gonna initiate it because I felt like I'd made my choice. Um, but. Yeah, look, I, I wasn't expecting a phone call from Rusty. Um, I was, 
as shocked as I'd say the rest of the world was when um, when Rusty rang me. So um, it's it's I I knew of the rule, but you know, like I said, I, I wasn't I was never planning on going and saying, "Listen, Rusty, pick me, bro." You know. So um, I think just when when it came by, I couldn't say no. Um, just with your, how exciting is it for you? Uh, following you know, just how you personally see uh, last year's international game, how exciting is the prospect of this year just really growing in your game and your schedule and the box set up? Yeah, I think for me, uh, coming into this year, I mean, the camps and uh, all the trainings we've had, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm much more aligned than I was last year when I came into to, to test weeks and I've been to camps. I've, you know, learned the core of and the, the values of the Springboks. So I think, and myself as well, I've grown as a player a lot in this year as well. So, you know, excited to get back out there and uh, yeah, do the country part and, and wear that jersey with honour. I mean, the prospects of uh, this weekend, that's a back three, um, the, the, the goals of a goals back three. Uh, just how exciting is that, you know, uh, playing with um, Kirti and yeah, no, it's uh, very exciting. I mean, I've played with Kurt a lot, so me and him know each other quite well. But now, yeah, the, the new recruit at the Bulls, Philly, is, 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 is dead the back of it. So, yeah, for him, I mean, for, for me as a, as a youngster, you know, to be able to, to have a guy like that, you know, is partially experienced, played all over and around the world, and, you know, has, has uh, bundles of wisdom and, and, and knowledge to share with us. So, you know, being able to, to play with him this weekend, and not only this weekend, but, you know, going to the union and learning from me as much as I can. Kanan, it was, it was obviously a, a, a quite a dreamy season, I always want to say, you know, the previous one, you know, a lot of things happened very quickly. Um, and I don't think ever one could say that, that, that it looked like your form faltered and stuff, but just from a personal perspective, how important was it for you as a player to experience a bit of a, a tougher campaign with the Bulls? Was it just to sort of like bring a bit of balance and experience, you know, that sometimes there are some, you know, difficult times as a team, you know, that you have to work through. Do you think that will help you at international level as well? Yeah, I think 100%. I mean, if, I mean with all of these guys as well as they've gone through a lot of, you know, dips with their various teams or whatever, but I mean, and that just pulls your character, you know, and that pulls the team together as well. I mean, going up at the Bulls not speaking, I mean, that only charge us for next season to be much better than, than what we did. And yeah, I mean, as a, as a player, we were, we were, me and Kirtley were gone for two months, so trying to, to, to you know, help, the, help as much as we can and, and contribute positively to, to getting us out of that, you know, that form we had. Uh, John, you've um, come into Camp 9, there's a possibility on Saturday that you might be able to reunite with Artie's name at this time in a, in a Bok jersey. How nice has it been having him around as someone you played with a lot in the last uh, couple of months to now and having him around now in box squad? No, it's been incredible, eh? Um, yeah, me and Audrey have been fast friends, fast friends since um, since he arrived at Munster. So, uh, I mean, I, I don't think there's someone who doesn't who doesn't consider Audrey a mate. He's he's just one of the most likable guys in the world. So, um, no, it's been it's been really good to have him here. Um, use him as a little bit of a crutch just to get me get me up to date with all the new um, all the new systems and stuff. But um, no, it's been fantastic. And I mean, if things do work out that we can play together on Saturday in the green and gold. You know, all the better. Um, it'll be fantastic. It'll be a great opportunity for us, and you know, a nice memory to create. John, did the um, Stormers guys in the squad take it a bit um, hard on you when you stepped in the first time? Um, ah uh, no, you know you've got to let bygones be bygones. Um, no, look, I I think it's one of those things where I think once we step into the into the circle of the spring box. You know, you sort of forget about all that other stuff, and it all just falls into the falls into the wayside because we're all united here and you know one front, and we're all working towards this greater goal. Um, so no, look, I mean obviously there's a couple of mentions here and there, but um, you know you can't let them forget it too quick. Um, but no, look, next season's a new season, and hopefully we'll do it again to them. John, uh... What are your expectations coming into the group now, um, keeping in mind that there's a lot of great locks in this group? Um, what, are your, what are your expectations in the, in the World Cup yet? I don't think I have any expectations. I'm just happy to be here. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not something that 
I've planned or I've had you know massive designs to accomplish um, over the last few years. So for me, I'm still probably in a little bit of a little bit of a whirlwind position where I was never expecting to be here. So now that I'm here, I'm just so delighted to be. Here. I just want to contribute. Um, I want to give as much as I can. And you know, if if it happens that I end up in you know World Cup squad, fantastic. If not, still fantastic. Um, if I've if I was able to contribute to South Africa and to the Springboks, I'd still be happy with my choice. So, John, the the conversation with with, with Rossi, um, what was it in terms of um, what what need within the squad did he say your recruitment was was addressing? And, and I guess the second part is, do, do you still remember the national anthem? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think you can ever forget in Kosi Sigalele if you sung it every Monday of your life for 13 years in school. Um, so no, I don't, um, I don't think I'll have forgotten that one. But um, I, look, Rasi just said, you know, I want to bring another lock into the mix. Um, he said I had a good season and he'd like to bring me in if I was interested. So I obviously said, um, yeah, look. I'd, I'd love to do it. So it's just a process of getting all the boxes ticked and jumping through all the hoops with IRFU, or with IRFU and then with World Rugby. Um, but yeah, look, the conversation was quite blunt in terms of, listen, we're looking for another lock, um, especially for this rugby championship block. Um, and he offered me the opportunity and I couldn't say no. Kenyon, this time last year, the opposition was probably googling you to have a look you know, who you are and, and obviously you know, that ship is safe they now know quite a fair bit about you have you, have you, sort of, have you, have you got it in the back of your mind in terms of what you might need to do differently to obviously gain similar results and the second second question is um, obviously this weekend you can play right wing but obviously you played full back before what are you in the squad as? back three player or back three plus um, outside centre even though obviously you haven't played for 13 at, uh, at Buckland? No, I think it's a new season so I know, you know that they probably know a bit better now but like I said uh, it's a new season so you know they'll, they'll be, they did probably did an analysis and you know what, what we're going to bring and we did the same but yeah like I said it's a, it's a new season so excited to, to get that started but yeah for me I think now I'm just yeah a winger yeah just yeah wherever they need me I'll, I'll slot in.